Okay, so here we have this rare Peugeot 302 tachometer. It's actually a tachyometric tachometer. You can see that straight down is about zero on this, and uh, straight up is about 2,800 RPM, something like that. Let's say, okay, go ahead and take the face away. And what we have here is the actual tachymetric drive right here on electric drill. Now we've been asked to operate this on electric drill just to make sure that everything is operating properly. So go ahead, Steve. Okay, you can hear by the, the uh, voice of the electric drill, the changing in speeds. And we likely have the needle on the wrong position, but uh, this is sort of how it's supposed to operate. Now, uh, oh, let's just check and make sure that, does it have to go down or anything? Or uh, Spinning free right now. There. Okay, well, let's, let's start with it aimed straight down okay. and go, go, go again, Steve. Slowly come down. Okay, now apparently this is the way the thing is supposed to work, uh, roughly. We do know that there that the components on the inside of this mechanism are just simply no longer available. As a matter of fact, there's a little cam that operates these uh, 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 metal strips here and cause it to uh, the needle to go in di different positions. Inside this gear, uh, there is a little uh, spring that causes this ratcheting paw mechanism to come down to the zero point, which it does arrive at after all is said and done. So uh, apparently the spring in there is no longer available. It's weak, but it is operating and making the needle move in a very tachyometric fashion. So thank you much for your attention. Uh, we'll send this off to the powers that be.